What up, YouTube? It's your boy. I'm back at it again, and this is Unscripted X. Today, I wanted to take a second crack at the ASVAB word knowledge section of the test. So without further ado, let's jump right into it, and afterwards, we'll check the answers to see uh, how they came out. So the first one, well, let's read the direction. It says, you are to decide which of the four possible answers has the closest meaning to the word. <clears throat> Number one says small means, typically small just means little. Let me pick a pencil, pen here. Number two, inhabit means to live in. Savory typically has to do with taste, so it'll be C. Obliterate means to wipe something out, to destroy, completely destroy, so wipe out. Unison means to be in <clears throat> in accordance. Um, so in agreement would be the correct one for this one. Novice means, typically means a beginner. Um, so D should be the correct one for this one. Number seven, rudiment. Um, rudimentary knowledge typically means uh, basic knowledge. So rudiments will mean basic, something relating to basics or Number eight, vague, we all means vague is something that's unclear. So empty, reverent, conceited, indistinct. Yep, indistinct would be the correct one for this one. Maim means to injure someone. Injure someone or something, I guess. <laughs> Cease means to stop. Turmoil means some sort of commotion. Um, or struggle. So I'll go with commotion for this one. Weary. Weary is a word that typically appears in the Bible. It means be wary of such and such. So be careful of such and such. Impair means to weaken. Ravage means to... To devastate, I guess. Scarcity, scold, flatter. Uh, it'll be to devastate. 15. Evasive means something that's um, secretive. Secretive, evasive. Some, something that's almost like it's able to avoid or evade. So the word evade means to avoid. So evasive would mean to secretive. Perpetual, perpetual, perpetual. Um, it means <clears throat> persistent, enduring. So D would be the correct one for this one. Seven, 17, chide means to, to scold. Almost kind of like to, almost to, I don't know, it, it's close. Closely aligned with maybe to punish someone. I mean, but in these word choices, those schools will probably come the closest. Variable means something that's constantly changing. So mild, steady, chilling, shifting. Variable is always changing. So shifting has to be the correct one for this one. And then afterwards, we can check our work um, to see how well we did. So <clears throat> number one, we got D. That's correct. Number two, we got B. That's correct. Number three. Savory, C, number four, we got C as well. Number five, we got A, which is correct. Number six, we got D. Number seven, we had A. Number eight, vague, we got D, which is correct. Number nine, we got D again. Number 10, we got D. Okay, so three Ds in a row, that's correct. Number 11, turmoil, we got B. Number 12, we got B again. Number 13, we got C. Number 14, we got A. Okay, and then 15, evasive, we got D. 16, we got D again. And then 17, we got C. And 18, we got A. So, looks like we got everything correct here for this um, for this practice run. Um, if you're looking for similar practice like these, uh, be on the lookout. I'm going to be making more of these. Um, and also look look at the channel uh, check out some of the previous videos on the channel I think that we got arithmetic reasoning we got the word knowledge 
Uh, and then we got the mathematics knowledge. So be on the lookout. You know, there's going to be more of these. If you like the video, like, subscribe, share. And um, I can't wait to make the next one. So see you then. Thank you.